Hey guys, it's Z here back with another tutorial and I hope you all are doing great. So guys, today in this tutorial, as you saw the preview, I'm going to teach you how to make these zoom ins along with that panning. So without wasting any time, let's get straight into it. So guys, open your CapCut and first of all, you have to mark the beats. Then you have to add the panels and adjust them according to these beats. I have already splitted them as you guys can see. Next, talking about the ratio, the one which I'm using here is one by one ratio because most of the edits in this style are in that ratio. So I just use that. And also I had to crop each and every panel into this ratio because every panel has its own ratio. So I had to crop it in one by one ratio. So I did that with all of these panels. And after that, I adjusted them to the beat. So these are the things you must keep in your mind. Now moving on to the tutorial. Let's give it the zooms. So for that, add an X and Y and scale keyframe at the starting, then go at the ending of the clip. Now you have to zoom in like around 400 scale and then adjust it that the character's face should be in the center like this. Then next you have to go at the starting and then go a few frames forward and see where you think the zoom in is good enough. Then add X and Y and scale keyframe there. And then you have to move this keyframe a little bit right from the middle like it should not be completely in the middle you should make it go a little bit more to the right like right here so these are the keyframing that you're going to do with all of the clips then for the graphs just open the keyframe animation select the middle keyframe and give it the second graph now you have to do exactly as me move it straight from the ending like this then from the starting move it a little bit forward and a little bit down just like this so your graph will kind of look like this after adjusting it. Then you have to open the Y graphs because for the panning, we're going to use Y and X. So for that, just do exactly as I'm doing. Give graph to the second keyframe. Then you have to move it straight from the ending and from the starting too. But at the starting, make it go a little bit down just like this. Then for the X, just give graph to the second keyframe. Make it go straight from the ending and then do nothing. You can just give graph to the first keyframe too, and it will give a different type of painting as you can see here. But if you want to change it, like if you want to do it in any other way, you can just try to mess up with the graphs and you will get other type of paintings here. Like as you can see, if I remove the graph from the first keyframe, it's different now. And if I give it graph again and move it up, then it's different. The one which I use is that I give graph to the first keyframe and left it there. So these are the types of painting you can do in these type of zooms. And then you have to just repeat the same for all of the other clips. So I'm going to repeat it, but there is a different thing here too. So in this clip, I added a zoom in here, but I didn't add any value of X. Like the X didn't change, it's only the Y. Do the same keyframing, one at the starting, one at the ending, then I give it a zoom in. Then what you have to do is exactly the same. Go a few frames forward and then where you see that this zoom is enough, add X and Y and scale keyframe there. Then move this keyframe to the side like this. Then you have to open the graphs. Then do the same graphs for Y and same graphs for scale as you did before. Move it straight, then move it straight from the back and then move it straight from the front too and make it go a little bit down like this. Then for Y, give it the same graph, make it go down from the starting and straight from the ending like this. But as you can see that this panel is kind of giving some canvas type thing here. So for that, you have to go at the starting and make sure that you move this frame a little bit up at the starting. So it comes from up to down like this to adjust that. Then what you have to do next is for X, if you want to give it some X movement too, like some X panning. So for that, give it the graph and move it down just like this. Then for the other keyframe, do the same, give it the graph line and make it go up like that. So this is a different type of panning you can do with these graphs if you don't add any X movement in it. So that's for the panning. Now moving on to the next clip, I'll do the same things again. One keyframe at the starting, one at the ending, then I'll zoom in and move it down so that it kind of zooms in on the character's face. And same with this clip, I didn't add any X value to it because it's only zooming in on the face, no need to add X. Then the same thing, I went to the starting, gave it the keyframe X and Y and scale, 
then moved it to the side, then do the seam graphs, stretch it from back, and then make it go forward from the starting and move it down. Then seam graphs for X as I did before, remove the keyframe, give it the graph line, move it down, then give graph to the second keyframe and move it up. Then for Y, I did the same at the starting, I made it go a little bit up like this. Then for the graph, I made it stretch from the ending and from the starting to and made it go a little bit down. So these are the graphs. These are the basics of how to do these pannings and these zooms. I'll just repeat all of this with the other clips. So I'm just going to fast forward it right now and then we'll move on to the other things which I did like in the last clip. So let's move on to that. Then for the graphs of the clip, I opened the keyframe animation, gave graph to the second keyframe and made it go a little bit straight like this. Then for Y, what you have to do is give graph to the second keyframe and then make it go a little bit up at the ending. And at the starting, I made it go a little bit down and tried to adjust it like it would give it some different type of painting, like it would go a little bit fast and down in the starting and then it will zoom in like this. Then for the other clip, it's just simple graph. Just you have to give a graph to the second keyframe, make it go all the way straight, then give graph to the first keyframe and make it go a little bit up like this. Then same for the upper clip, make it go straight for the second keyframe and for the first one, make it go a little bit down. And for the last clip, I just gave graph to the second keyframe and made it go straight. So it just zooms in. So that's just basically it. This is how you can make these type of zooms and gap cut along with that painting. I hope you guys understood this tutorial. I'm not really good at explaining things, but that's it. This is how I made this zoom in and those other transitions. See you guys in another video. Till then, bye bye.